In this exercise, we're going to place architectural columns inside of our project. To begin, come over here to your project browser and make sure that you have your level one floor plan up. Next, underneath the architecture tab, go to columns, select on the flyout menu, and then choose architectural column off of the list. And I'm going to move down and select the properties tab. We can see that we have round columns and rectangular columns available to us. This pull down list is the type selector list, and the type of column that I want is a 12 inch diameter round column. So select on the words 12 inch diameter, and that's going to now place that kind of column inside of our project. You'll notice that moves with grids has a check mark. What this means is if these grids that we're getting ready to place our columns on should move, the column will move along with it. Now, zoom in just a little bit so we can see each of the lines that are crossing each other. Also, take special note up here on the options bar, make sure that this spot right here says height instead of depth. If it says depth, the columns will go down. We want all the columns to go up. Also make sure that where it has level two, if yours says a different level or if it says unconnected, Verify that this is level two because that's the height that we want the column to be going from the first floor or level one up to our level two elevation. Once you've done those things, zoom in a little and where these two lines highlight in blue, it'll almost feel like it snaps in place. Click in order to place your first column. Continue to do this with your architectural columns in each location on the structural grid. The command will actually stay active, so as you're moving around, you'll be able to click again and again and again. You want to make sure that, in fact, you do get the intersection of the structural grid as you're placing your columns in place. Now, a special note to be aware of, because height and level 2 has been checked, that means that these columns, even though they look two-dimensional in plain view, in fact, have a height of whatever is associated with our level two. To see this better, if you move to your project browser and open up your south elevation view, you'll now see each of those columns coming up to level two. Also, if you move up to the top of the screen, you may have a little house up here. If not, and you're like me and you have the double arrows, just select on the double arrows and then pick on that little house. The little house is the default 3D view, and that'll take us to a 3D view of your columns. And these are all the architectural columns that we just placed. So remember, when it comes time to place columns, go to the Architecture tab, choose the type of column you want to place, in this case, Architectural. Make sure that on the Type Selector list, you have the type of column that you want to place selected. Then make adjustments on the options bar as far as where you want the base level of your columns to be, as well as how tall you want your columns to be. Then select in each location that you want your columns to be located at, and this will place your columns at the right height in the right locations inside of your architectural model.